some intake manifold work. Um, here's a intake that's uh, been reworked a little bit. The uh, it's been opened up. I mean, hardly at all. It's um, been uh, let's say lapped, what they call that, where this uh, surface has been flattened up here and then uh, flattened here too and with the studs in. With the studs in we use well actually this one doesn't work too well either but it's not too bad but you can use a, a smaller piece of glass or some other f really flat material and uh, wrap, wrap your uh, sandpaper you could use you know 220 is what this is and I think 400 well it depends uh, 400 would be good for the last one but uh, I'm using 220 because it's really my manifolds are pretty bad so what I did is this is a one that I just took off my car and uh, I just took a plug out of it because I I'm having some I'm having some trouble with some air leaks I don't know if it's from the carburetor throttle shafts or or this little plug that was put in here by someone else I just I got this this way this is a little metric nut bolt and I took it out but it seemed in there you know you can see that it it took quite a bit of muscle to take the thing out so it looked like it was okay I don't think that was the leak but I did lap it like on a here's a glass plate down here that you can see where it's good for lapping parts like this where you would take a piece of sandpaper like that you know probably preferably a nice new one you know and maybe put a few drops of WD-40 on it and uh, you know go in multiple directions like this You know, crossing it, maybe switching it like that. And what you're trying to do is get get a surface on it that's really flat. And you know, you can tell it's flat if you put, you know, bluing agent. But once you get more experienced, you might not need even that. I mean, here you can if you can tell right here is a little dark but everything it this looks like it's you know the gasket is going to cover those little things but that's how to get that surface really flat and uh, these manifolds have this is an early one where it only has this little bucket thing that uh, was hanging off of this I don't even have one let's see if I, I can probably show you one that this is a different manifold well maybe here we can show at least uh, let's see maybe we can show the difference let me get reset up here show the slight difference in in size I mean it this is not extreme at all but you can tell this one here has been opened up a little bit so if you put them together let's see if you can see the size difference inside you can see you know probably an eighth of an inch to a six you know a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch or let's say uh, two to three millimeters all around has been removed and um, I don't take much off of this anymore because I have a problem like right here where it, it grinds through <laughs> so he really can't do much right here it's very limited 
so I'm just really hesitant and let's see yeah I don't know how much I got there but I don't know the significance of opening them up you know too much where you risk going through the side of the manifold on these things I know here you got plenty of meat right here to take this out but then on the head because that's on the head side you don't have a lot of meat on the head right here I mean it's pretty thin here's a gasket you can tell I don't know if I did gasket matching on this thing or not so I guess now what I'll do is I'll I'd like to leave some sort of a um, pipe or a nipple that I can attach a vacuum gauge to so I can really uh, do some troubleshooting and what's if there's any vacuum leaks and things or just general engine performance of vacuum gauge is pretty helpful I guess that's about it I mean a manifold is a pretty simple deal except when it comes to uh, the ones that are really let me see if I can pull one out here I got one that's got the full set of uh, emissions pipes on it so we got this one this one and this is the one that was cut off of here so I might even take one of these I mean I really have no problem just cutting this off and it'd be nice to machine down even these somehow I, don't know, I might try that but just I usually just take a hacksaw and just cut it straight like this and it just cuts right off and you end up with something like this and you end up you know you can file this down if you want or use a little sanding disc somewhere or something like that uh, this looks like a nice well, chunk of aluminum here I guess to you know here they just put a little rib for strengthening this seems pretty robust uh, I'll tell you, this one looks really easy to plug. It's already threaded, so it'd be neat to put in, you know, maybe an anodized uh, um, hex or a socket head uh, screw in there. And this is the same way, but it'd be nice to be able to take out the screw and put the nipple back in in case you wanted to do some testing. I mean, these are just some thoughts that you can do to you know make the car more uh, tunable troubleshooting uh, make it easier anyway for me because I'm having you know my my uh, happens to be I'm having some trouble right now so if anybody wants to learn about this stuff I guess this is their, a good time for them and in, in my in my uh, peril and frustration I'm able to dissect a lot of these things and record it so maybe we could start sharing some of these uh, uh, rear engine fiat uh, uh, tips after all these years that we can start to disseminate some of this information be neat because I, I would like to learn there's a lot I have to learn still I'm always willing to try something new and and hear from somebody else and what they're doing because they you know always there's stuff that you just never think of so it's nice to share uh, let's see if there's I guess there's that's probably about it for this one the this uh, venture in the manifolds here's the you know some options this is an American an SAE screw 
Now I don't I don't believe I did this one or this one. I just find them find them like this or yeah, one of these I probably did. I don't know which. Probably not the metric one. I probably did this SAE because hey, we're here in America and just these the SAE uh, hardware is just so much more common and uh, SAE tools are much more common so well not anymore but there's a lot of metric stuff out there which is pretty nice so this is a way to plug up this hole if you don't want to use that little plunger anymore to recirculate and what does that do? recirculates uh, some sort of uh, fume at certain uh, throttle opening so I guess that's about it I'll probably end up just using this one because it already matches the uh, head as far as I know